So Joseph, I'd be interested to know about the genesis of your harpsichord jazz concerto. I imagine you in front of a blank page. How did it all start for you? Well, it started by my uh, position uh, within a baroque chamber orchestra. It was called Philomusica of London. It was very well known in the 50s and very early 60s. And our director was George Malcolm, a famous harpsichord artist and also a conductor and so on. And um, I, I basically played the continual parts of Baroque music, Handel, Corelli, and Vivaldi and Bach and so on. And in the intermission of one of our rehearsals, I heard this George Malcolm uh, playing harpsichord just to, to amuse himself in, in the break and the orchestra went out to have a drink. And he played the most amazing jazz uh, uh, improvisations. And, and I came in and he suddenly stopped and says, oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, why are you sorry? This is the most wonderful a thing that I've heard because I love jazz and I didn't know you do that. He said, well, during the war I was put into a military band and I was improvising and so on and so I had to play a lot of light music and that was my job during the war in the Royal Air Force. And I said, I, it is wonderful and this combination of Baroque continual playing and the famous soloist made me say, uh, you know, Mr. Malcolm, and then he says, call me George, you know. And he, I, I said, really, he, you should have a concerto written for you. And I want to write you a concerto. And he, I remember this definitely, he said, well, I would welcome that. It's never been done before, but you must promise me the last movement must be a continuous group of semiquavers without a break. And uh, as you know, Patrick, uh, that's more or less what I've written. So the blank page that you spoke began with a sonata form, first movement, like many, many concertos, and therefore the impact it had on the audience is the same that I wanted to create, which was a kind of baroque concerto fused into, into a modern conception of a kind of swing texture.
By the way, jazz people don't regard this as a jazz piece. I've asked many of them. They said, oh yes, it's a, I like it. And they say, but it's definitely not jazz. I said, so what should I call it? They said, well, uh, I don't know. I said, so I call it jazz.